Yeah, the stomach is very, very full. And if we look here, uh, there's some very dark pieces, some very light white pieces. And if you see, you know, as I push on this, it's absolutely rigid, completely, completely full of plastic all the way up. Look at that. Absolutely no doubt that this bird died as a result of that plastic. That is literally a gut full of plastic. It's quite alarming, isn't it? It's awful. But 234 pieces of plastic out of that one bird. Is that a record? Not even close, unfortunately. So for the species, the record is 276 pieces of plastic inside of one 90-day-old chick. And that plastic only weighed out and counted for 15% of that bird's body mass. So that's a pretty scary statistic. If we translate that into human terms, it gets even worse. That would be equivalent to you and I having somewhere around six or eight kilos of plastic inside of your stomach. It's equivalent to about 12 pizzas worth of, right. of food inside of your stomach. Bandung Regency, an area in West Java, went through rapid industrialization in the 1980s, creating what it is today, the epicenter of textile production in the region. The textile sector has devastating effects on the environment, with the water quality being at the top of the list. With over 200 textile factories on the riverbanks of the Chitram River, 20,000 tons of waste and 340,000 tons of wastewater are dumped daily. Toxic chemicals dumped in the Chitram have actually changed the color of the river in some spots. It has become contaminated with lead, aluminum, iron, and manganese. Many of those who live and work around the river suffer from skin diseases, rashes, infections, scabs, respiratory problems, not to mention all the problems down the road from crops grown with water from the river. The industrial chemicals and waste has affected 2,300 acres of rice fields, contaminating them with heavy metals and losing over $866 million of food production over the past two decades. While difficult to know what quality of facility your clothing is produced in, when buying a new pair of pants or shirts, Many of the toxic chemicals used in clothing production stays on the clothes after they are completed and will only be removed after a handful of washes through the washing machine. Why well, we're following up team trees with team seeds. And we need your help to get 30 million pounds of plastic and trash out of the friggin' ocean. So we've spent the last eight months working with the most trusted nonprofit cleanup organizations on the planet. And even though it was difficult, they guaranteed us that for every single dollar we raise, there will be one less pound of plastic and trash in the ocean. And that's just bonk. That literally means that for every $1 donated, this much trash comes out of the ocean. And for $5, this much trash comes out of the ocean. To accomplish this, we have a three-prong approach, and we'll be cleaning up the beaches, rivers, and oceans across the world. Because trash on the beach ends up in the ocean, and the majority of trash in the rivers ends up there as well. So to clean the ocean, you gotta tackle all three. 80% of the plastic that flows to the ocean comes from only 1% of the rivers in the world. So to combat this, we'll be placing these trash-eating robots in the world's worst polluting rivers. So it can literally pick up trash 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You direct your viewers to teamseas.org and let them know that one dollar means one less pound of trash in the freaking ocean. the marlin. All sculptures now on display at Smithsonian's National Zoo in Washington, D.C. 
and all made of trash pulled from the Pacific Ocean. Alles sehen. Ich möchte die Welt sehen. Ich möchte alles sehen. Ich möchte die Welt sehen. I want to see everything. I want to see the world. I want to see everything. I want to see the world. Je veux tout. Ich 
möchte die Welt sehen. I want to see everything. I want to see the world. I want to see everything. I want to see the world. Je veux tout voir. Je veux voir le monde. I want to see everything